sure I'm picking up on vices. <laughs> <laughs> Vice, virtue. It's best not to be too moral. You cheat yourself out of too much life. Aim above morality. If you apply that to life, then you're bound to live it fully. I haven't lived. died a few times. What was that? Well, uh, the first time was when I was at boarding school in the chemistry lab. I was in there cleaning it up. So, uh, I decided I'd do a little experiment, you know. So I threw all this stuff out and began mixing it up. It was very scientific. <laughs> Uh, there was this massive explosion. It knocked me down. It blew out a huge hole in the floor. There was uh, boards and bricks and flames leaping up. I figured, you know, time to leave. My career in school was over. So, uh, I went home. My mother was giving a party, so I just went right up the back stairs into my room. Turned out the light. And, uh, I got this funny feeling. The doorbell rang. I went out to the banister, and, uh, these two policemen came in. Found my mother. And, uh, told her that I was killed in the fire. She put one hand up to her forehead. The other, she reached out as if groping for support. And... This long sigh, she collapsed in their arms. Decided I, then that I enjoyed being dead. I understand. A lot of people enjoy being dead, but they're not dead really. They're just backing away from life. Reach out, take a chance, get hurt even. Play as well as you can. Go, team. Go. Give me an L. Give me an I. Give me a V. Give me an E. L-I-V-E. Live. Otherwise, you got nothing to talk about in the locker room. Thank you.